What's the password? What's the password? Hey, groovy guys and gals, thanks for coming into another toy car case event. This one's a special edition. We got the train track set up. It's a Lionel Day, and not just any Lionel Day. It's the Land and Sea and Air Gift Pack. Target Range, U.S. Marines. Look at this playset. Oh, this thing, I have no idea when it's from, but I'm guessing early 60s. This is Lionel train set number 1805 from New York, New York, the Lionel Corporation. And this is who said it is. And here is the value, $50. Do you see it? And our price, $26.88. Such a bargain. Oh, look at this beauty. You ready to dig into this thing? I know I am. Look at this. Just totally amazing. Let's see what we got here. Hey cats and kittens, it's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman's Supper Club. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Oh, this is so cool. Again, knowing me and my Roco Mini Tanks. Now this came out of my friend's friend's barn who uh, he passed away and his widow said go in and save out all the good stuff and he did and he cleared it out before other people could take it and so it's safe for the uh, widower I don't know what she's going to do with these if she's going to keep them or sell them but either way we get to borrow them so here is the box all the way around just so cool if you want to set up a display you can set up a display with this all in place. The Land, Sea, and Air gift pack by Lionel. I'm looking for a date, but I don't see one. Just so amazing. And it's, it's kind of a big set. $26. Big $26 for this. Oh, so wild. You ready to open this baby? I didn't even look at the bottom. Oh, look at that. All on the bottom. All set out again. Looks like the same illustration. You've got a place for a handle here, which is really cool. So let's take a look. Are you ready? Oh, <laughs> oh look how cool this is. Oh. Everything packed just like it should be in here. Look at this. Here's your engine. You got Marines. And man, I don't even know what that is. Some sort of missile launcher. You've got a submarine. Here's another missile launcher. Oh, you've got a helicopter here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And then a rescue unit. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to put this off to the side like this. And then we can have a little more room to spin them around and stuff. Oh, <laughs> my fat head isn't fat enough to keep my glasses on. I bet you guys don't have that problem. Oh, look at this. So let's start with this piece. And I... Now this one didn't have a booklet and the other one did. So look at this, U.S. Marine Corps rescue unit. Now, yeah, what is going on with this? So this comes out, so is that like a mobile rescue thing? I don't know, but very cool. Something's busted off there. Maybe an antenna or... Look at this. That is so cool. 
and all the little rails these are all metal and stuff there's Captain Obvious oh that comes out let's turn it upside down it'll it won't fall out US of America made in Lionel Corporation New York New York the stamp is kind of weak on this but you can see how this thing was put together Oh, there's little pegs or something. See the peg? That one's on, and this one looks busted off. Oh, it kind of holds it in place. So then you just kind of line up the the train tracks or the wheels on the. And if they're lined up perfect, there you go. It rolls. See? Oh, isn't that cool? Now this one had a helicopter on it. Look at this, U.S. Marine Corps. So that spins, very cool. Just hollow body. Now remember, this is back in the day. Oh look, there's some sort of bracket there. So as the train went along, I bet that blade spun. Now this is stationary, all molded in plastic in one piece. Now. I don't know why they wouldn't mold that in. Oh, I guess it's because it's a, uh, oh, look at that, built by Lionel. Because it's a warning. It's yellow, so it's a warning. Yes. Oh, look at this. Just got to be careful getting this out. There we go. Oh, so here's the flatbed car that holds the, helicopter I always thought these things were cool these little wheels on the side I have no idea what they're supposed to do on a train but look at this oh so wild and crazy whoa did you see that <laughs> it scared me <laughs> Look, so you spin this up. Uh-oh, here we go. First test in how many years? <laughs> Ready? Go. Oh. Let me try it again. I don't have any instructions here, so... Just a winding bracket of some sort. Oh. I have glasses on, so just in case it flies off. Now, see, again, here's this little bracket, and I'm sure there's a squareness in there somewhere. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I, I hear great failure coming. Ready? Go. telling you they don't make toys like they used to so what is this for so I'm guessing it goes along the train and something hits this to engage the helicopter to take off oh, this is busted here just notice that but it's all there so it can be glued into place easily but look at that that is hilarious. Oh. <laughs> so you've got a actual flying helicopter. Now, somehow these these uh, brackets open up some way. 
but I don't know how they go. There, there's a simple way to do it. And I'm, I'm just not quite sure how to do it. But they latch or unlatch or something. Oh, there we go. So it's open now. And then when it it's open and it runs into the next piece, it closes and locks into place. See that? That's pretty cool. Or you can just slide it over the top like I just did. Oh, look at that. Now this is supposed to sit up here and maybe as it goes around it, uh, oh, this probably holds up the tail, I'm guessing. On this side, yeah. There you go. So it, it'll fly off level. Oh, oh, that is cool. Look at those. Sweet. Let's see what this one is. Oh, oh, it's a missile launcher. That's what it is. Oh, and it rotates. <laughs> oh, the toys they used to make. <laughs> So, <laughs> got some sort of lever on there. Look at this. Here it is, all right in its place. Look at that. Does that bring back memories to you? I hope so. Oh, I, like I said, I had trains, but they're HO scale. So, what is this? Hear that rusty old spring. <laughs> so it's down like this and then we're ready to launch. <laughs> and then it pivots. Now on this one there's nothing on the bottom. You've got the made in US of America Lionel Corporation but you've got that gasket over it and here's a number on it but other than that it's pretty simple now I don't know if this is oh yeah that's intentionally bent right here this wire So we do have one missile in here, and I don't know if it's for this or not. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. It fits right in there. Now we got to figure out how to launch this baby. Oh, how cool is that? Hang on, I'll play with it a little bit and see if I can get it to launch. I got my glasses on, so don't worry. Okay, I think I got it. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! That thing would sail across the room, hit Mama making dinner. Oh, Big Mama, she's making dinner. If <laughs> she got hit by that thing, so look as this went down, this piece could move back, and that kind of locked it into place. So this has to be down, and you got to hold your finger on it. <laughs> it's gonna put a hole in my set let's see if I can get it here you got it ready 
set, go! Oh, that is hilarious. Again, classic toys that are just not made anymore. And I'm going to just lock up those. Oh, is that cool or what? Now, well, get used to it. You might be seeing it in a train track coming by your home. Oh, look at this one. U.S. Navy submarine 3830. Oh, what is this? Oh, here's the oxygen. So does that go on here somewhere? Oh, look. And these rudders go so I wonder if this is one of those where you put the soda in there and the, the baking soda and look at this oh so amazing so what would our oxygen tanks be for so you've got some metal clasps holding it in place on the bottom there see it see if I can get this out of here oh whoa whoa hang on there Nelly come on quit spinning on me oh yeah just slide it out gentle gentle oh <laughs> you see what's in there it's a huge rubber band now this nose cap winds it i am not gonna wind it because i guarantee you that rubber band is dry rotted just like our snow track treads are from those lionel or uh, those uh Lindsay, uh snow tracks oh yeah but that yep that nose winds up that rubber band and you are good to go now this is look at that piece of plastic just moving back and forth so it's not like it's watertight or anything oh that is but maybe it just fills with water and then this spins the propeller and then you can set the rudders at whatever you want now it looked like there were some antennae or something up in the top there, like something clipped into place there. No, in this, there's probably some guns. But what is the oxygen tank for? That's what I'm wondering. It wouldn't have gone on this, would it? Oh, this. <laughs> I'm telling you, this set is so amazing. There it is. Look at that thing. Rubber band propelled. Simplicity at its best. Now, kids today would be like, a rubber band? <laughs> and we're like, oh yeah, but your glider could go forever on a rubber band. Right? Remember those balsa wood gliders that had a rubber band? Let's see if I can get this on here and make it work. Maybe not. Oh, I'm not looking in the camera. I'm not doing nothing right here. Nothing, no how, no way. Oh, we got to back this up a little bit to make room for that engine. Because that engine number nine is massive. Oh, and it's heavy too. Now, look at this. Oh, oh. But I'm going to look in the box here and see if there's anything underneath. Just some... Oh, look at this. Here's a stretcher. Okay. That is like golden. Looks like there was mice in here or something at some point. 
Oh, look at this. So, I'm guessing on this, you'd have a stretcher. Yeah, look. This fits perfectly in these little... So, it looks like there was maybe two stretchers, and then the oxygen went in here somewhere. Oh, just like that. Yeah, we figured it out. Oh, is that cool or what? Oh, having one is better than none. That's all I have to say. Again, those people that do castings and stuff can mold that and get it into play. Now, look at this, U.S. Marines. Holy smokes. Is that a mega car or what, from Speed Racer? Look at this thing. It is just massive, crazy, and just so cool. Now, here's a moving part here. And here's our missile launchers. <laughs> you gotta have a missile launcher. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, so cool. You've got all the controls there. I'm wondering if it's just glued out of place or what. Oh, look, it's ripped on the one side. Someone tried to glue it into place. Oh, it, there it goes. That would work. And I bet that light flashes up. Now, we saw a guy in the other one. And I'm wondering if he might be going for this set and not the other one. In our Lionel train set 2528WS, look for that video. Look at this thing. So wild. Here's your made in USA. Come on. Can it focus for us? No. Come on. There we go. Lionel Corp. This. Look at the gearing on that. Diesel switcher. Look at that. And got some grease in there and stuff. Here come some Marines with missile launchers, helicopters, and submarines. Don't mess with us. And this is... Oh, that's probably just the on and off switch. Yeah, that engages the engine. But how do we get these babies to lock? Lock them. Oh, just push them back. Now, I wonder if they had different missiles than these. Or did they use the same missile? Oh, it looks like a same one. Ready? Oh! <laughs> it was a Dunsky. <laughs> Oh, it's the other ones that shot, not this, the middle ones. Oh, every time you pull one, it goes. Let's see if I, we can get that to work again. Whoa! That launched perfectly and hit the front of the truck over there. So <laughs> let's see if we can get this happening again. Now I'm just setting one of them. So let's see if we can see it go. It's white on white. Oh, 
<laughs> that is fun. Oh, uh, anything that launches a missile, come on. As a kid, that was golden. And of course, you had to line it up with some all sorts of things that weren't supposed to be shot with a missile. You know, your stuffed animals or your little army men. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at what I'm doing and shooting the deck. <laughs> sorry, dudes, dudettes. Oh, there we go. There you got it. There's the Trainosaurus Rex. Marines, don't mess around, friend. Navy, Army, Air Force, you got it all represented in this train here. Look at this. And even the Medical Corps. That is so very cool. Look at that. <laughs> and it all came in this box. Oh, look at how gorgeous that is. Oh, thank you guys for coming in. I know that the other video was a little longer just because, just because, <laughs> there was brochures and catalogs in it, but I am totally digging this one. <laughs> this is amazing. Totally amazing. Look at how gorgeous this is. I want to thank you guys, gals, everyone for coming in. Remember, like and subscribe. You never know. You never, ever, ever know what's going to pull into the supper club for us to take a look at. Most of the stuff these days is borrowed, and I'm returning it. So it is really cool to just even be able to see this kind of quality of antique toys still in the box. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And if not, move on to the cars. <laughs> we got plenty of car videos. There's something for everyone. So th remember, this is the place to be. And this is Escape from Reality. Just for a little bit before you have to go back to the craziness. We're revisiting our childhood toys. For some great memories being unlocked in those old stubborn minds of ours. <laughs> oh, looky, looky, tooky, tooky. Rock on, my friends. Rock on. I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be.